Welcome. In the following, I would like to introduce you to a new method of imparting and acquiring knowledge. Let's illustrate this with our AI-enhanced micro-credential course on the history of the English language. The new approach uses the inverted classroom mastery model with a newly designed digital phase of self-directed knowledge acquisition. This phase no longer consists of complex learning units, each with dozens of fully organized, predefined learning activities. Rather, it shrinks the learning units to just three activities. An activity labeled questions and terms, with a variety of AI-generated key questions and central terms. An activity referred to as linguistic data, with additional topic-related questions and linguistic data added by the course instructor. And last but not least, the mastery test. The student's task is simple. First, work with the questions in the two main activities. Then tackle and hopefully pass the mastery test. But how do we produce such learning units? First, the course instructor defines the general framework conditions, the course title and level, a brief summary of the course content, the required number of learning units, and the principles of completion. With this prompt, for example, the course outline can be generated. With a second prompt, the necessary details, including the required key questions, can be specified. Finally, the course instructor sets certain priorities by adding linguistic questions, data ready for analysis, and linguistic multimedia. Using this generative AI-based approach, the new digital self-learning phase changes the learner role from that of a simple consumer to an exploratory researcher. As a consequence, the subsequent deepening phase can be dedicated even more intensively to competence-oriented aspects supervised by top-trained academics. One thing is for sure, the classic frontal lecture has finally had its day. Predefined digital online courses still make sense, but only if generative AI plays an important role and allows the learner the greatest possible freedom. With this in mind, thank you for your attention and take care.